18 volt or 40 volt guys which one do you choose what do you do there's options now i think there's even 12. have you heard of a 12 volt as well Jeez, so many options in the makita range now how do we keep up with it i'll tell you why i made the decision to go down 40 volt road and to get more 40 volt gear i've still got 18 don't worry but 40 yeah i think it's the the new thing it's doing well G'day guys, Chris here, Midlife Carpentry. Today is exciting. This is the next little step in my little video. We are gonna talk about why I decided to go 40 volt. So why 40 volt? Why not stick with 18? Um, and, I, and I'll tell you some of the, 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 good, the things I think is good about 40 volt and the things I think are a bit average about 40 volt, the, um, the downsides, I guess. So the good and the bad, I guess. Just a few quick ones. In no way is this a tool review, There's, it's, it's nothing like that. It's just me, my personal experience, just sharing with you guys like why I made that decision and, and why I'm heading down that road. So um, for those of you who don't know, first year apprentice uh, at Old Apprentice, um, just started out, so I'm still learning and stuff. I had a couple of, of tools, a couple of Makita tools when I first started. Uh, these were tools that I bought for the renovation of the townhouse that basically sits beside, behind me here. But, um, and, I, and I did, make a decision a long time ago that I wanted to be on the blue team. I wanted to be with Makita, um, basically because of the variety of tools and stuff they had. Uh, Milwaukee at the time wasn't as big, but it's grown in the time that that, that decision was made. I'm finding I still prefer Makita, regardless of whether Milwaukee's out there or Dewalt or any of the other guys out there, Hikoki, you know, there's plenty of other guys out there to, do, to get tools and stuff from. So um, yeah, but yeah, I'm definitely blue team, yeah, all the way. <clears throat> so that was my decision for Makita. So that's 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 one side of it. All right, XGT 40 volt. Um, look, this was a hard. This was something I sat on the fence for a little bit for, just wondering about like why why would I go the XGT? I, I spoke to a lot of other guys too. They said, look, I don't understand why we're going the 40 volt when the 18 volt has done us so well for so long. You know, why are we heading down this road? And and the biggest thing that I've noticed, the biggest thing, biggest bit of feedback I can give you guys from using the 40 volt gear, um, even just testing it stuff before we bought it, before I bought it, and now that I've actually physically got it and using it every day, is the battery life. Like, it's awesome, man. Like, it's, it's awesome. Like, I'm using an impact driver for, for a day and stuff, and, you know, putting in batten screws and things, and, and roofing screws, and undoing roofing screws, and, and just, yeah, sending things home. And this is only a two and a half amp hour battery. Like, this isn't a four, or this isn't a five or an eight or anything big. Like the battery life, battery life on these tools are fantastic. Um, the power's there and everything as well, which is always a bonus too. But that's probably one of the biggest, biggest um, pros I have. Like I'm pretty happy with the battery life on these tools and how they're going. Um, yeah, the other side of it is, is obviously I'm, brand new. So I'm starting from scratch pretty much with my tools and my commercial tools. Um, I've sort of, I guess you could say I had, I had handyman tools, but yeah. So I'm setting into more commercial stuff. Um, so I wanted gear that's going to last. I wanted gear that was sort of a step up from, from the standard stuff. So, and that's, that's probably the other thing that steered me towards big XGT because I'm starting from, from the get go. Like I haven't already got reciprocal saws. I haven't already got hammer drills. I haven't already got like grinders and stuff like that. I didn't have all of that gear. So when I had to purchase it, it was like, right, I think it makes more sense for me to purchase something like that, where I've stepped everything up, the equipment that I have, as opposed to um, doubling up on things. So say, for example, I bought a, a kit from Makita for the same price, uh, sorry, a kit, 18 volt kit compared to a 40 volt kit. The price would be, um, you know, the price would be quite similar. And I might only get a six piece kit for the XGT and, uh, for 18 volt, I may get you know 10 to 15 piece. You know what I mean? Like there's there is a price difference there. That that's probably one of the bigger downsides is is the cost. It will come down, I guess, over time. Um, but the the technology is there, and and the quality of the product is there, and, and yeah, the power is there. So the the justification of purchasing it is definitely you know yeah I'm all about it. So I'm I'm full on yeah 100% XGT all over it. Um, yeah, the, speaking of like this, sincerely impressed with this little nailer that's just come out. Um, I'm hoping this 
is a step in the right direction for maybe a framer, hey, or other, other finishing guns or other guns at all, um, because uh, this thing sends nails. Like, it's, it's fantastic. Like, I mean, there's a lot of guys out there do reviews on them, you'll see them out there, but um, for what this is, um, little pin nail, it, it just sends things. So I'm, I'm excited about using that. I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, doing some trims and stuff in a house and, and you know, giving that a crack and giving it a go, along with the big miter saw behind me too. Like that, that was, um, that was one of probably the most excited purchases I had. Like I was, I was looking forward to really getting my hands stuck onto that and, and, and starting to use it and stuff. It hasn't even touched yet. So, um, so yes, got to get stuck into work. Uh, okay, so that's that's why I've gone 40 volt. Now, don't get me wrong, I still have 18 volt gear. Like I, I've bought a, a brand new trimmer, um, a sander, I've got a planer, I've got a jigsaw, I've got a, a little vacuum cleaner as well. So I've bought some 18 volt gear brand new as well in this whole big spend that I had. Um, that was that was because these products obviously aren't out in, in 40 volt and I honestly don't think some of them need to be yet. I think 40 volt are obviously heading in a particular direction uh, for the higher powered tools that, that need that battery and that, and that life and longevity of batteries. Um, so, which is fine, like I'm good with that. I understand that. And I've already got, you know, 18 volt gear already, like a little school saw and stuff in my drill and my power driver was 18 volt. Um, and my multi-tool, that was 18 volt too. So that's a must. If you're, if you're an apprentice chippy, I'll go through. I'll go through some power tools that I think are very important and a good idea to have early on as you as you get uh, get stuck into things. So, um, but yeah, that's my thoughts. That's completely where I am with it all. Um, obviously, there's a little bit extra weight too. I've noticed. Uh, obviously, when we were doing the testing, when we we're doing a little trial run, we only had access to the four amp hour batteries. Uh, as you can see, let's do a little bit of a comparison. So we've got two fairly similar impact drivers here to a degree so you've got the half inch and then you've got a little uh, one quarter and and they're your batteries so that's your four and that's your two and a half now i was lucky enough to score uh two and a half two two and a halves from purchasing all my tools and stuff out at uh cans hardware uh, so big shout out to those guys thank you very much for that i appreciate that i appreciate the extra batteries and the fact that you had the flexibility to drop down to a couple of two and a half for me as opposed to a four um, genuinely appreciate that uh, because that's all I'm using basically is the two and a halves at this stage. The fours, the fours I'll probably use on a bigger gear when I need to, um, but it, there's there's no real difference in power. Like you, you, it's pretty consistent, so which is good. It's just uh, I suppose longevity, I guess life, uh, battery life and stuff. So, but yeah, so there is a bit of a weight difference, um, especially if you are rolling with fours. But uh, genuine, genuinely think that if you are going to buy extra t gear or you're going to buy a kit i certainly recommend look at a two and a half see if you can get at least one two and a half in your in your repertoire in your kit uh that'd be the way to go even if you can yeah i don't know whether you can swap anything or not no no the kits are full i think the kits are locked in with a force but yeah have a chat to your makita reps have a chat to your sales guys and stuff in the stores and and have a shop around see if you can find someone who's going to give you that little bit of a benefit uh to to you know dropping down in size and battery and stuff Still keep your fours, don't get me wrong, you'll need them, they'll be handy. Like I'm gonna be using fours on the, on the saw and all that sort of stuff, so. Um, but yeah, yeah, two and a half, nice handy little size. So it's made the weight not so bad. Before the fours were quite chunky, quite heavy. So I can't even imagine, you know, slinging off one of them all day, so. Yeah, but otherwise, um, yeah, that's, that's been my decision for XGT. Why I went that road, um, there's obviously a lot of other little facts and data and stuff in there as to why it happens. You know, your batteries are cooler and all that sort of fun stuff too, I think. So that increases their life and yeah, there's a lot of other little details and factors in there. So, um, but look guys, I'll leave it there. I'll park it up. So that's 18 volt and 40 volt, why I went down that road. And um, yeah, hope it's helped you make a little decision about, hope it's gotten you over the fence when you're deciding what you're doing. But I genuinely feel if you're starting out in a trade and getting stuck in, then yeah, Look at the options, see if you can afford it, see if you can head down the XGT range, even if it's just for the impact driver or the drill or something that you use every day, step it up and just have a crack at it and see what it's like, because you'll, you'll be impressed. Have a chat to your Makita guys, they'll have samples and stuff, get them to give you a go, give, them, give you a trial for a couple of weeks on, a, on an impact driver or a drill or even the whole kit. So yeah, don't be afraid to ask man, if you don't ask, you don't receive. 
All right, guys, build on legends. We'll have a chat next time. We will go through what I've purchased and see if we can come up with a figure in total of what I've gotten. Um, and uh, yeah, see if you can guess it. All right, guys, all the best. Chat soon. Bye. Thank you.